Hi, it's Miss Hagley. Good to see you. Wondering if today you would have time to do a craft with me. I'm going to show you what we're going to make and then I'll tell you what we need and we'll get started. So today we're going to make this cute little lamb picture. Isn't it cute? Just in time for spring and Easter. Okay, so that's what we're going to make. And what we're going to need is a purple piece of paper that's for the background. So if you don't have purple and you have another color, totally fine. I just picked purple for today. We need some white paint and we need a little bit of black construction paper as well. So again, if you don't have black, um, just use white and then use your crayon or your marker to color it in black, okay? So we only need a little bit of the black. And we need our stamping tool. So if you did the chick craft with me earlier, um, you know that we used a cork as a stamp. So I'm gonna be using that again today, all right? And if you don't have any corks, you can always make a little sponge dauber, okay? And this is just my kitchen sponge. It's getting sponge. It's getting smaller and smaller because I keep making sponges, but just cut out a circle out of the sponge and you can use that just like we could use um, the cork, okay? Gonna need some googly eyes. And again, if you don't have googly eyes, you're just gonna be able to um, draw them on and just some ribbon. I had green at the house, it can be any color. Um, string, yarn, doesn't matter. I just had green. So we're gonna get started. So we're gonna hold our purple paper so it's going lengthwise, okay? And we'll open up our white paint and we'll take our cork or our sponge, whatever you're gonna use, okay? And we're just gonna dip it into the white. You don't need a lot. You see that on my cork? And we're going to um, make an oval of stamps, okay? I'm not gonna cover the whole page, just, just make an oval shape, and I'll show you as I go. And you know, this kind of reminds me, in class, when you would do art projects or do your letter of the week and use bingo daubers, it's the same type of thing. So the motion is just down and up down and up. Okay, so just down and pull it up. All right, so just in an oval shape, and I'll show you what I have so far. If you have to go back into the paint, go ahead, but you really don't need a lot. I'm not using a lot. And try not to overlap the, um, the dots that you're putting on, okay? Leave some space so you see the purple through it. So I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. I'm not doing the whole page, I'm just doing kind of like an oval shape in the middle. Okay, so I think I'm good. I think I'm done. So I'm going to put my cork down and I'm going to cover up my paint because I'm done with that. And again, this is the finished project. So we have our white dots. Now we need to do the parts of the lamb, the head and the ears and the legs. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take our black construction paper. I'm just going to move that over to the side real quick. Um, and again, you don't need much. So we're gonna cut a large oval for his head. And if you, if you feel like you can't really cut an oval shape, um, maybe mom or dad or an older brother or an old, older sister could help you. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. But that's the big size oval. Now we need two smaller ovals for his ears, okay? So we're gonna do two of those. And you can actually fold your paper in half and do two, cut two right at the same time. So it's up to you. I'm just doing them freehand. So you want two smaller ovals, and those are gonna be his ears. So I have two of those. And then we're gonna need two legs. So it's really just two strips of paper. And again, if you don't have black, um, you can use white and just color them in black with crayon or marker or even paint if you have black paint. I'm just gonna make mine a little shorter. These are kind of too long. So there are my two legs. Can you see them? Okay, so just two strips. And we're done with the black. 
So I'm gonna take my purple paper again that has all my white dots on it and lay it flat and get your glue. I'm just gonna round this off a little bit. And this is my large oval. So I'm gonna put some glue on the back. You don't need a whole lot, it's not a big piece of paper. So there's the glue on the back and I'm gonna put it right in the center of my paper. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna take the two smaller ovals that we cut and the same thing, put some glue on the back. And again, if you don't have liquid glue, maybe glue stick. Um, you might have a glue stick and you can definitely use a glue stick. So with the lamb, I feel like the ears are kind of off to the side instead of like right at the top of his head. So I'll show you what I mean. So I put them kind of like to the side instead of like right on top. I feel like a lamb's ears are kind of to the side. Okay, so now we're going to glue his legs. And where do you think his legs go? You're right, they go down the bottom. Our legs are below our waist, right? They hold up our body, so the legs are down the bottom of the page. And I'll show you again how I did it. Okay, it's starting to look like a lamb. Now that all the body parts are glued on too, you might wanna go back in and fill in a little bit more with the white paint. I think I'm gonna do that with mine. I see a couple spots that I, I think, oh, Maybe another little daub of paint would look good there. So I'm just gonna go back in and fill it in. And you don't have to do this if you, if you want, that's great. If you like your page the way it is, that's perfect too. Make it your own. So there we go. With our lamb, maybe another one up here. I think I'm gonna hang mine in the kitchen so I can see it all the time. I think that would be cute perfect for Easter and like I said springtime okay so now he needs eyes again because we used a dark construction paper if you have a white crayon or you have some chalk you can definitely draw in your eyes I have googly eyes so I'm gonna do googly eyes on mine just need two eyes there's one and there's two Isn't that cute? And all he needs now is a ribbon around his neck. So like I told you before, I had just had green in the house. So I'm just gonna cut a piece. Doesn't have to be any particular length. So if you know how to tie your shoes, then you can do this. So I just tie this piece of ribbon into a bow and pull it tight so it doesn't come undone. You see my bow? And then we're just gonna glue it right around his neck. So right below his chin, put some more of your liquid glue and press your bow on. And there's my lamb. So I hope you had fun. Let that dry in the sun. Um, it's really sunny today, so pick a sunny spot, maybe on the floor or on the counter where the sun's coming in. The white paint will dry, and then you can hang it up. All right, so I hope you had fun, and um, hope you're staying safe, and I hope you're happy at home with mom and dad and all your brothers and sisters, and if you have other family that lives with you. So um, I'll see you next time, and it is a beautiful day, so get outside, okay? See you later.